Good morning children. Today we are going to start chapter number 4 metals and non-metals. Children in this chapter we will be studying about physical properties of metals and non-metals, chemical properties of metals and non-metals and uses of metals and non-metals. In this video children we are focusing on physical properties of metals and non-metals. This slide shows different types of metals. You can see gold, platinum, copper. And we are using in our day-to-day -day life as well. We are making jewellery from the gold, platinum, even from copper also. We are making lots of things, electrical wires and vessels, etc. You can see in this picture different objects are made from the metals. So this shows metals are solid and of different colours. Now, this slide shows different examples of non-metals, carbon, phosphorus, sulphur, etc. You can find diamond and carbon. Both are amorphous form of non-metal carbon. It means physically they are different but chemically they are made up of carbon. Phosphorus and sulphur are also examples of non-metals. This slide gives comparison of the physical properties of metals and non-metals. The number one that we are going to discuss that is luster, metallic shine. All metals have shine as you have seen in the slide, previous slide. That is gold has a golden yellow color, platinum silvery color and copper is reddish brown in color. On the other hand, non-metals do not have any kind of luster. Metals are hard, that is why they can be used for making wires and plates. Non-metals do not show this property. Malleability. Malleability means this is the property by which we can make thin sheets of metals. That is why metals are used for making thin plates, utensils. And non-metals do not show this property. That is called malleability. The next property, physical property, that is ductility. Metals are used to make wires thin wires for example electrical wires and all even you must have seen the net of the iron but non-metals cannot be used it means they don't show ductile in their nature then conductivity metals are good conductor of heat and electricity electricity that is why we make wires of metals we make cooking vessels of metals on the other hand non-metals do not show this property State, physical state, metals are solid except few, that is mercury and gallium. Non-metals may be solid, liquid or gas. Density, they are highly dense, it means, so they are compactly arranged, atoms are compactly arranged, except sodium and potassium. But non-metals, they show low density except diamond, that is why they are either in the gaseous form or many of them are in the liquid form. So this is all about the physical properties of metals and non-metals children in this video. In the next video, we will be discussing about chemical properties of metals and non-metals.